I walked up in there, the squad was in there. It's a whole bunch of niggas, you know, and I walked in, I gave my head something, I'm like, what's up? And I come to Hollywood. Now, I ain't never dealt with these niggas, don't know them. I don't even know what the fuck they is. But all of them was sitting around. She had her half full of them niggas sitting around and on some gangster shit. Trey 600, three six double O. Trey 600, three six double O. Yeah, man. Is it, man? Yeah. Say, y'all, 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 that's called a big boat. A lot of people in there, the, 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 the goddamn, hey, I take, my spread, my spread be off the chain. That's yeah. a big boat. That's a big boat. Goddamn me. Hey, oh, but, uh, okay, we talking about, like, you know, people having to walk into a situation where they know it might go down. Can you give me a story where you had to walk into a situation where you knew it, you knew it possibly could go down? You goddamn right. Huh. Huh. Possibly could go down or where it went down? Where it went down, hell. Well, give you the story of OG Percy and Hoover Gold. The trap, man, I go score my little old drugs and shit. I go to the trap and I had a lady that sell me, you know, to give me a deal, a double up deal every time I went to it to go, you know, on, on a little hookup or something, something, man, keep my hustle going. I was scoring me some quarter ounces for $150. You know what I'm saying? That was a good deal back then. Seven grams for $150. And um, and the lady, she, you know, she kind of cut it for me on the side, but she was a big deal at the time, you know. She kept a lot of young niggas around. You get what I'm saying? She was the only one. She was the only hustler, but she liked keeping a lot of young niggas around, and young niggas knew that she was a hustler. And when I say she kept the finest of the finest young niggas, the gang, the goons and goblins, niggas that she knew, she kept them young niggas around that she knew when letting nothing happen to her. You dig what I'm saying? That's them type of niggas she kept around her. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm a stiff nigga myself, but you know, I had been dealing with the lady off the record, and I had never ran into her little entourage, her little gang of people, you uh, know. I got damn me, y'all. I, uh, I fell to this trap one time, you know. This this particular day, I walked up in there. The squad was in there. It's a whole bunch of niggas, you know. And I walked in, I gave my head something. I'm like, what's up? And I come to Hollywood. Now, I ain't never dealt with these niggas. Don't know them. I don't even know what the fuck they is. They, but all of them was sitting around. She had her half full of them niggas sitting around. I know some gangster shit. And I can tell when I walked in, I looked at them, yes. Square being the nigga. I said, yeah, man. Who you looking for, nigga? Like that. Nigga, nigga, I got cuz. I'm looking for mama cuz. You know I'm saying, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, cuz. She in there, cuz. You know, and I walked through, I gave a nigga that look. I go in there, I holler at her. And this certain nigga was sitting in the room where it's supposed to be the bodyguard nigga. So I come in there every time I come in, I get two two quarter ounces a day. So I give her 150 down at 300 a day. You understand know I me? Mean? Twice a day. That's the only way I can get the deal. You understand know I me? Mean? If I have to come go twice. But my thing is this, uh. When I walked in, I went, I, I came in, I was short 20. I said, I said, Mama, I got, I got, uh, I got 130 today. And I got you, you know, come. She said, oh, don't worry about it, don't worry about that. Come on, come on. Come on, you know, she, she threw me seven grams, goddamn me down. So, on. Um, whatever that was. I went and did my little hustle, and I came back. This is my second one, because I come twice a day, and I came back, you know. Cause she counted me off on that. I answered the door and I came back. I had another one thirty. And then uh, I said, "Mom, I got that one thirty again." You know, I'm trying to try my luck. She said, "Yeah, come on, baby, come on with this." Now, nigga, he said, he said, he said, "Now, cause you, you, you owe her, you owe her sixty dollars." When, when number one, nigga, I don't fuck with you. I'm scoring from her. I don't even do. Who the fuck is you to be sideline talking? I'm a whole gangster in her. My whole gang said, who is this? Mom, I'm like, mama, who is this? You know what I'm saying? Is this your boyfriend? She's young, young, young nigga at the door. Then the nigga walked out. The room. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Talking about what I owe somebody. Bitch, I'm not scoring for you, nigga. Oh. Um, God damn it, we took her out business. I go outside the hut, go out the house. The front room that I came in, it was a whole bunch of niggas sitting in there when I got there. But when I came out, she was gonna let me out the door. There wasn't nobody around sitting in there. All the niggas had went outside to the front. This is a situation where I knew it might be finna go down. <laughs>